Responsible tourism is a worldwide trend. It embraces environmental awareness, sustainability, poverty upliftment and the promotion of culture and historical heritage. If your facility embraces one or other aspect of responsible tourism, we would love to invite you onto our site so that you too can be part of this world trend. I'm Tians Vivian, I'm the City of Cape Town's Tourism Destination Development Manager and we're here at the Responsible Tourism Conference in Durban. What's fundamental is that we start changing responsible tourism from being just a program or a policy to being a fundamental principle in which tourism businesses are driven. Once we've achieved that, it becomes part of mainstream business and mainstream thinking. We will be losing our product, which is the tourism asset. If we can't sustain it over time, it will, it will go to waste and it will not be the attraction or the product that we intend it to be. Responsible tourism is a worldwide trend. When do you think it could become government policy? Is that part of the thinking? More and more we are integrating it into our requirements and our grading criteria. I feel very strongly about the issue and I'm glad to see that uh, many of our product uh, owners are picking up the trend. So on the tourism side more and more we will have to see green building design, uh, retrofitting for energy efficiency, having sustainable land transport. That's what we need and uh, the more we can give momentum to that the better. We're at the Northern Cape stand of the 2011 in Daba and we're going to get a comment from Sharon Lewis, CEO of Tourism Northern Cape. Northern Cape takes responsible tourism very serious because it's, it's what we sell. What you get there is what you find. It's real, it's authentic and so to us the environment is very important because that is what we sell. That is the spirit of the Northern Cape, is what the, Northern Cape of, the people of the Northern Cape is all about. So uh, we're very protective of our environment. And I mean, that's why you find the product is so diverse in the Northern Cape because of, of the, you know, because of the environmental care that has been taken. I'm sitting here with Graham Wood, the MD of Southern Sun Hotels, and he's going to give us uh, some idea of what Southern Sun's hotels are doing with regard to responsible tourism, something which they have adopted as a business principle. We're a very respected corporate citizen in the tourism industry. Uh, attitude to, to our not only our environment but to our employees and to financial sustainability of our businesses of paramount importance. Uh, some years ago, I'll give an example, we introduced a, a scheme called uh, Southern Sun Adopt a Guest House where we've uh, facilitated the creation now of over 50 uh, small, medium, micro entrepreneurs in the guest house industry um, as part of our commitment to uh, seeing small individuals and private individuals uh, be successful. Just embarked on our environmental management program, aligned ourselves to the heritage ratings uh, system, uh, ensuring that all our properties will be uh, accredited in terms of being environmentally responsible uh, at, to varying degrees. Some of our properties, like our resort properties, will be far more focused on uh, environmental management as to some of, versus some of our corporate hotels. But, you know, the pressures that we have at this moment in time as a business sound not only environmental management responsibility, but responsible tourism practices is a fundamental business principle at this moment in time that can actually save you money and enhance your business practice. So we've adopted this as a business priority as opposed to, in addition to, being what's required as a responsible citizen. We're going to get a short comment from Consul Kiani from Chwani on the topic of responsible tourism. You would know that we are one of the most uh, diverse uh, cities in the country. We have a very strong Africana component uh, in the city. We have a very strong uh, Amandebele component, Sitswana, uh, Batswana, Bapedi and all that. So in terms of diversity, one of the things that we do is to ensure that the tourists enjoy those diverse cultures. For instance, we have the Fur Trekker Monument, which we promote because it represents uh, the best of uh, the resilience of the Africana community. Across it, we have the Struggle Monument uh, of the Liberation Struggle, that is the, the Freedom uh, Park. Uh, but you also have then uh, in the townships a representation of the diverse African uh, groups, your uh, Amandebele, your uh, Botswana and all that. So uh, the packages that we offer 
is in order that we are able to offer that diversity. The very definition of responsible tourism carries our name. The Cape Town Declaration agreed right here in 2002. It's a great honor and obligation. So we've been busy. The city helping its residents live sustainably, build responsibly, even host events responsibly. And the tourism industry is adapting its offerings. You see, responsible tourism isn't just tourism in poorer communities. It's across the entire industry, all the way to the top end. Visitors want to come here, people want to live here. It's because Cape Town's environment is unique. Its beauty and biodiversity draw millions of visitors. But millions of local people use and need the environment too. Protection, recreation, income. There has to be a balance. Clean water for communities and a protected habitat for endangered species. Where we find that balance, we find people who are truly inspired to take responsibility. Visitors also come to meet people. Cape Town is famous for its township tours. You are invited to be a guest in our communities. You support local businesses, meet people, it's more meaningful. The tourism industry has standards and a code of conduct and tips for travelers. Everyone's deeply engaged, signing a charter along with local government committing to responsible tourism. The city adopted a formal policy, planning, regulations, zoning, licensing, it all must benefit responsible tourism. And now they're busy refitting buildings, hosting green meetings, traveling in responsible ways and more. We're also starting to measure and share what's happening, the good and not so good. Maybe we can help and inspire other destinations. Cape Town has covered quite a distance on our journey to becoming a more responsible destination. But we still have a lot of work to do before we are truly living by the principles of responsible tourism and helping all visitors enjoy our destination as responsible travelers. But we are well on our way.